so I will try my best to explain my feelings about this movie. Hi, I'm Renaud and welcome. If I seem a bit lost for words in this video, uh, that's because I am trying to process the movie Cats, as you can tell by the title, and Oh, it just makes me uncomfortable just thinking about it. Well, get on with it. The bar's open soon. So, Cats, the 2019 movie that is based on the Broadway musical by, I believe, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Cats. Let me just first start off the bat say that this is a very very strange movie. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, it's not a movie, but you're, it's not a musical either. It's like just this mess that you just happen to be watching. Cats is an experience in and of itself. Now let me get on to the movie itself. So, for those of you who are expecting a plot of some kind, but the thing is, this movie has no plot to it. Like, none. It, it has no, like, main characters. It has no, like, it has nothing. But, despite this, I'll try my best to tell you, like, the center point of the whole movie. Because there is a point to it. Although it is pointless. So, the whole movie is based around uh, the Jellicle Ball, which is essentially a talent show. Yeah, she plays the judge of this talent show, right? Also, I don't remember any of the names of the characters, so I'll be calling them by their actor names. The whole point of this talent show is that Judy Dench picks the winner, and whoever that person is will, will go on and die and be reincarnated into the life that they've always wanted. Like that's the whole purpose of this whole movie, like to find out who gets to enjoy the life that they've always wanted. Idris Elba is in this movie. He's the weird, evil magic cat that everyone's scared of for some reason. And he goes around kidnapping all of the other contestants. Kidnapping all these other contestants would mean that he would be the only one in the contest to win well he'd be the only one left and so judy dench would have no choice but to pick him and it's this whole big deal that he's like this evil guy and no one wants to be around i don't know so that's the whole premise of the movie now you may be wondering i know that sounds like that kind of sounds like a plot to me what are you talking about it has no plot that sounds like a pretty good plot to me yeah um no, that's just me trying to like pinpoint exactly what the point of this movie is. The whole movie in and of itself is just the different contestants in this talent show. And it's just them saying, oh, I'm this person. You don't know who I am? Well, let me just sing a, a five minute song about myself. Yeah. And that just goes on for like 15 characters for an hour and 45 minutes and then the movie ends. That's it, that, that, that's it. And that goes back to my point about this movie not having a plot at all. Because the whole movie is just about introducing every con contestant of this talent show and you know them just singing and dancing about themselves and what they do. There's no meaning behind anything. You know, there's no person we should root for. It's just, oh, hey, here's Jason Derulo. That's it. Jason Derulo. It's like the whole time throughout this whole movie, you're just like, okay, let's just move on. Okay, move on, move on. We get it. Your character, you're trying to show off your talent for the talent show. But don't do that for me. Do that for Judy Dench. Jesus. It's just... Ugh! I'm getting frustrated just thinking about it. Now, speaking of the songs, 
how do I describe it? They go on for too long. They are just way, 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 way too long to be appropriate. You know, like, there's no way someone saw the musical of Cats, because I'm pretty sure it's like the same premise, same songs and all that. And they thought, you know what? That would make a great movie. Like, who, 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 who thought of this? I mean, I'm a fan of musicals. Like, I love musicals so much, but this movie was just way too much. I was just waiting for it to end. I was powering through this movie just for it to end. <laughs> the thing is, with a lot of the songs in this musical movie, is that sometimes, you know, they get like halfway through the song. And they go off on this like note and you think it's over, right? But no, no, it's not over. <laughs> they sing and dance for another two minutes. And it's very annoying because you're thinking, why I thought this movie, this song was gonna be over, but no. And it, it's like, kill me, kill me. I don't wanna be a part of this earth anymore because of this movie. Also, there's hardly any dialogue in this movie. It's just all song. I've seen people, some people come up with this point, is that the whole point of a musical is that the mu the songs are just an extension of the dialogue rather than the point itself. And it just, that adds to the beauty of a musical. You know, it's just this fun little way to like properly express what people in the mute in the play section of the musical are already trying to say but this musical is just musical that's all it is there's no like meaningful dialogue in between now i say that like without meaning like oh there is no dialogue in this movie at all there is dialogue in this movie but there might as well not be the dialogue in this movie lasts for like what 20 30 seconds before the before another song comes up you know and it's very annoying because you think that the person the people talking would have like a meaningful conversation like why are they singing why are they dancing but no it's just to like for the new characters like come up with something quirky to say and then someone is like oh you and then the, another song starts and then you're just like, oh. And I have mentioned that this movie is around like an hour and like 40, 45 minutes around that mark. This movie feels like three hours long. This movie feels like a never ending. It, it feels never ending. Like, at some points, you know, halfway through a song, you're thinking, like, oh, it must be all over now because, you know, like, we've had, like, what, eight songs? And we've been introduced to, like, ten characters. Surely, in this must be the end of the movie. Now, you're only, like, 30 minutes in. It's like you just want it to end so badly that you, it's just every time you look at the time stamp, you're like, seriously? Seriously, I have to go through this for another hour? That's not, something about that is not right. <laughs> you know, it's it's not right. That ain't right at all. Like if it was torture for me to see, I can't imagine what everyone else was going through. I did not do the other eye. I am done. And that's just the singing and dancing part of the movie. We have not gone over the CGI. Ah, uh, yes. The CGI of this movie. I'm talking about the humanoid cats in this movie. They're like abominations. The humanoid cats are so uncomfortable to watch. It's like they 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 look like humans, but they act like cats. And they look like cats, but they act like humans. It's like this really weird cycle of like, ew, they're not supposed to do that. But like, they are, cause they look like cats, but they look like humans, but they look like cats. It's like, I'm like very uncomfortable just thinking about it. I never want to see this movie again.
it's weird. It's made even worse because whoever like was in charge, whoever was in charge of the CGI in this movie, clearly did not care about their job because sometimes throughout the whole movie, I could see like sometimes some of the cats would have like humanoid hands. I'm sorry, would like have like humanoid hands. Like you could clearly like let me demonstrate. Like you can clearly see like the their fur would end here and then this would be their hand right right they would look human it's so sloppy you know you know they're supposed to look like cats but they're not it's like so poorly done like you couldn't even you made these abominations you couldn't even try to make it look convincing also another thing that really like creeped me out throughout this whole movie was that like sometimes their faces would I don't know like they would like float above the area like where their face was supposed to be like it wouldn't even look like it was a part of their body it was like oh it did not look natural I'm sorry it's it was bad it was bad my guy also another thing I hated about this movie I'm saying hate now but like Oh god, I never want to see this movie again. Is that the fact that the these humanoid cats move like unnaturally smooth, right? Like they're supposed to be cats. I get it, you know. Like cats are very agile. They're very smooth creatures, you know. They land on their feet for God's sake. But again, it's like this whole like, hu like they look human, but they act like cats. But they're they they're cats they look like human kind of thing like it's it's watching humans be agile in a way that we are not supposed to be like i know humans we are not agile creatures but the way they cgi'd it or like instructed the actors to do is like they just move unnaturally smooth like again the 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 human but cat but he cat but human cycle is just there it's there throughout the whole movie and it's frustrating because you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on i'm gonna put on my lashes and the rest of my face off camera and i'll be i'll be back with some maybe like the only two things i liked about this movie so i am back with a full face of makeup I'm actually very pleased with how this turned out. I will first start off by saying, uh, one of the only good things about this movie is Mr. Mistopheles, the magic cat. And the reason why I say that he is the only character, good thing, one of the only good things about this movie is he does not spend five minutes singing about himself. <laughs> That's it. And that is why I love him. He's my favorite one. And the second thing that I wanted to say was the only good thing about, one of the only good things about Cats was Jennifer Hudson's rendition of Memory, which was very beautiful. I downloaded it and it made me almost cry. It's, it, it was that beautiful. If, if only a, the stupid main character had not sung it would have been perfect but no they they had to include her which sucks because four minutes of Jennifer Hudson singing would have been perfect thank you so much for watching me ramble on and on about the complete mess that is cats if you liked this video uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I do these uh kind of movie reviews and while doing my makeup partially yeah that's about it i'll see you the next time i upload bye